It's star one nine seven eight star eight three seven eight Nicole Cataruza. Um, I can see with the light. My eyes are blue at the moment. At least one is. Um, the last night um, I checked. There was heavy cloud cover. Uh, I did not see a moon, but again there was heavy cloud cover. Um, I also could not see a constellation. Uh, for Vera Caton. Um, uh, Joe Biden uh, at the same time in an in a event of sorts, a culmination of events, had some state of the union. Um, again, I I it is hard for me to decipher how these Americans and this American and United States works. I know it's like a overlapping articulated importance, but then there's business office, there's family feuds, there's perhaps anger, perhaps carried forward anger between the haves and the have nots. Hard to say. So being that I've literally and figuratively been locked away from the entire human event of every level, very little interaction. Um, this is how I was born with a painting somewhere with a man who came to meet with me, or a teenage, we'll call him a man, uh, who came to meet with me who said I was his painting and then just disappeared again. So, um, for a symbolic gesture between the alien that I know I belong with and to, and where the Americans in the United States has me locked in somehow by withholding husbandry or wedlock of proper, which is what is expected for care of oneself. I mean, how am I supposed to afford myself and clothing and children and whatever if the one I'm built for is withheld? Not that the humans seem to make that a priority. But the moon is missing, so that sends a really solid message at Planetary for what they've done. Um, this morning there's several... Um, I couldn't watch the whole State of the Union. I I get lost in his words. He does say, my fellow Americans, as the United States uh, president, uh, being standing in Washington, D.C. So for that, um, the f I've, it, is it fellowship? Those That's his following for? Because he was saying some words about leadership elsewhere. But then I heard this morning another side, which I'm going to actually put up um, to balance the two sides, because on one side there's the condemnation, but it's been by consensus and this popular democracy, Democrats, Democrats which just is multiple family feuds of whomever is assigned to a particular oligarch and it's kind of like their, that's their cheerleading team because that's how they get fed and they know they're taken care of. So I sit back and I'm like, no, I see you. I'm just watching going there's some very real problems with this way the humans interpret interpret between the haves and the have-nots by all this movement and repatterning and like rezoning and it's I don't know why that happened in past failed multiple administrations when I wasn't even here yet. 
or at least in this portion of whatever. <sighs> so this is um, this is how it comes on. It says it's my my broadcast started with Den of Thieves. Now, if I remember correctly, in my cosmic in a space between here and there trying to get back to the one I love, just one man uh, over six foot and I'm his star, um, Den is like a family gathering spot, like foxes and, and foxes Den and bears, they have a hibernation Den and it's this cozy family gathering place of just you belong. But then it says of thieves, and I'm like, well now, that's interesting. Because I can read that symbolic gesture a couple different ways. I mean, here they find it as, like, pirates of the Caribbean, like, where you go plunder someone else's booty, and yay! And I'm like, oh, that's a dangerous narrative. Mm. But that's how the State of the Union started for me, what the humans sent me as a message, is right before... Joe Biden went on, President Joe Biden went on, it says Den of Thieves. So I guess that's like that broader context to filter through his fellowship message since they let us listen to his preaching to his choir, almost. Dude, Jimmy, come on. Good evening, President Biden set to address Congress and the nation, an historic night ahead. Our ABC News coverage begins right now. This is an ABC News I taped special. this the last State night. I, I, did, I couldn't Putin stay up. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. America stands up to move. This is who we are. Against a backdrop of war in Europe. This is a flagrant violation of international law and demands a firm response from the international community. Flagrant. Bingo. There's flag in there for referee and referendum on whatever. Um, A pandemic ravaging the country for two long years. We've been doing everything we can, preparing for a future beyond the pandemic. And economic challenges. Right, yeah, you guys have been preparing for that future. You just left out, like, in the have-nots where I've been birthed in naivety and nativity, they had this milk carton of missing kids when I was little. They, some parent lost their child, which is like the most horrible thing ever. And they put them on the milk carton. They don't do it any longer. Milk's not even served in the same type of whatever. But in the haves section of the world, sometimes they have paintings made, museum exhibits, they teach some of the upper have-nots what their, their version of a milk cart is should one of their own go missing and how they should be treated. So that's where I'm really confused when I, there is a haves. I have a upper level missing child report inside of a museum. It's a known event. They have galas and parties and all sorts of things. So I'm really confused where the opposition has been in my quick release, like getting me to where I needed to be in human terms. 
and why this outcome was forced. Seems like a human dilemma. Just not seen in decades. Now we need to get inflation under control. President Biden addresses a very divided country. No one got. All right, it's divided. I wonder why it's divided. Let's see. In my life frame, and shortly before I got here, there were multiple nations already suffering under war or past wars. They caused refugees. Those refugees with their sob stories and painting world politicians and countrymen all over the place, all wrong, blaming them for whatever, gathered <laughs> for some reason. They were let on to the land over here in some unrecognizable invasion that nobody, like everybody, laughs at, at oligarchs and the MIC complex of military-industrial complex. And then the have-nots are sitting here like, wait, I didn't... I didn't need all these sob stories. No, really, it's it's infringing on my own personal freedoms. I don't know who made the decision to allow all this freedom of travel and resettlement, um, but it's causing some real divides and issues in some real solid sets of for all of humanity, we need some solid anchors, and you can't let go of all of the, the strings of quasi-strength all at once. It causes real damage, and not just to one, but to all. That is where that, like, one for, all for one and one for all, yeah, at some point, there's so much damage done that it is a real whatever. Got everything they wanted, including me. But that's what compromise is. That's consensus. Well, there's that word. Um, the youngins, being my children, have alerted me that this word right here is short for suspect. Which I find so interesting, considering je suis, its I is missing you get suspect, and you put a J-E for the word I in front of it, and you get Jesus. Hmm, je suis. And then it's the con. I mean, these are all formulas. And then it's sense, census. I mean, these are alphabetical, um, formulas for what did the com what did the community what did the community promise as things were going wrong and now what promises do they still have to fulfill considering that it's being painted into a really dangerous divided hard to untether or hard to deliver properly because there's some real other worldly things that are not necessarily in one's self-portrait being considered in the correct fashion. Tonight, before Congress, the nation, and the eyes of the world, President Biden delivers his first State of the Union address. Reporting live from Washington, David Muir. And good evening tonight from the nation's capital, where in just a few moments, President Biden will deliver his first State of the Union address to the nation. Americans watching, the world will indeed be watching as the president enters the House chamber on Capitol Hill moments from now. These are extraordinary times, the Russian invasion of Ukraine dominating the world's attention, the death toll mounting nearly seven... I'm confused by this consortium. It paints a very confusing, conflicting story. It's hard to keep one people's story straight when there's so many opposing possibilities of storylines standing in the most prestigious seats or, or podiums 
I mean, I've never been even invited in anything this level of importance that I'm aware of. Now, this is actually today, which is March 2nd. Um, this is the day after the State of the Union address. It's on CBS mornings, um, and it's them at their discussion point. Flights to Vegas every hour. Play, play, golf, play some hoops. We'll check during the commercial break. <laughs> Let's just do it. Those are the people that were afforded to live within the haves, which I have not. Do it. Let's just do it. Uh, all right, we're beginning what to watch here uh, with people in Russia losing valuable sources of news coverage about the invasion in Ukraine. A liberal radio station and Russia's last independent TV station were taken off the air last night. Russian officials accused their websites of deliberately posting false information about the action of Russian forces. The Kremlin will not allow the fighting in Ukraine to be referred to as an invasion or a war. And I know some people will say, look, young people have access to the internet, there's VPN, they know how to get online to figure out what's going on. No idea what a VPN is. I think at some point, if I acronym it after listening to this, it says something about a visual protocol in a network, but I don't know what that means. I wouldn't know how to access one, that's for sure. I wouldn't know in a larger context or construct of how things work. Um, I wouldn't know how to build myself a working theory of that type of smaller um, understate or understated. Going on, but there are a lot of older people right. across Russia who rely on these uh, networks, this radio station, this television station. I guess I fall into that older category. And they believe mm. what the Kremlin is selling them, which is that this is a peacekeeping mission, mm -hmm. that they're there to liberate the Ukrainian people, and that's why this is so important. Well, if you have drug pushers and thugs moving into your area, and you are unarmed, and you need supervisory help, what do you expect? It would be then a, keep, a peacekeeping mission. The only thing is, is that I don't know all of the excess buildings being torn down. Why? Is that because one of the oligarchs wants one of these disgusting, ugly, new casino-looking project and real estate development plans to go through? Because the old buildings were much more beautiful and charming. All of this tear down what's classic about the world to replace it with the new disgusting money is just, it's filthy. It's absolutely filthy. I see them doing it everywhere. Yeah, independent journalism matters. It yeah. really does. Mm -hmm. Now more than ever. There's a lot to be said about what the narrative is and how that is being told to the yeah. people. Yeah, and this is why freedom of the press is so critical. I mean, I know sometimes, you know, the media is fair game for a lot of people in this country right. and other Western countries, but now you see the value mm. of true journalism Fair point. what it could be when the yeah, Kremlin yeah. tries to take it offline. Uh, all right, we talked about this yesterday, Big League Baseball opening day. Not happening, not happening. After officials and players failed to agree on a labor contract, Commissioner Rob Manford said in a news conference yesterday, if a... Now, these labor contracts, are these for, like, one of them mentions it, is these for major leagues? Because they then, um, Tony goes into uh, the minor leagues are, like, their version of minimum wage... And the major leagues are already majorly wealthy, and they're just lucky to be playing baseball and have a fan base. I don't understand why they need multi-million dollar contracts when there's so many of us, like myself, who has more important things that she needed to get to. But this seems to be going on in some filtered whatever that has a micro economy and a micro management, but it has to be fitted into a macro management and macro economy. And currently it's not working properly. 
if it, were, if it were just up to him, he'd have this settled, but both sides do need to reach a consensus. The parties have been trying to make a deal since December when the owners locked out the players after the last contract expired. The union says its demands are only fair with the sport's growing revenue so far. That's a good idea. Lock out the players because there's too much noise going on and there's real serious focus work to do. Far, 91 regular season games have been called off. The first time major league games have been canceled in 27 years due to a labor dispute. This doesn't seem right, Tony. It, it's not right. I mean, the details are the details, but the bottom line is that opening day will not happen on schedule. Baseball is about tradition. It's about the smell of the grass. It's about the springtime. And I want to associate myself with the New York Post this morning. Let's see it. It says baseball buffoons blow it. They got oh. a with a tear. Oh. That's me this morning as well. Oh. Oh. And that's supposed to be Mr. Metz. And a lot of fans. You said it's, it's about the fans, too. They need to figure this out. Right. Just figure it out. So all rich people playing a kid's game figure it out. The Players Union says that they want baseball to raise a minimum salary and a soft salary cap, and they want a larger bonus pool for the players. We've talked a lot about the great resignation and what people are demanding from their employers, even baseball players. This is part of it. That's part of it. Even though they're multimillionaires. I mean, that's, that's true. true. It is not, true. Not, I don't have any sympathy for guys who are actually in the big leagues. You want to help somebody who's not making enough, help the minor leaguers. Right. Who even making minimum Farm wage. Right. Right. Guys are getting screwed. All right. All right. I like that. I like I'm that. Uh, do you know the name of that baseball dude? I think it's Mr. Met. Okay, because you're a Mets fan, right? Yeah. Okay, I was going to say. It's a baseball dude. <laughs> I don't... It is. Black. It's Mets. the baseball dude. Maybe this is not a bro down after all. <laughs> Maybe I just need to go back oh, to my, to my Dungeons boys? and Dragons. I'm going to head back into Play, my Play closet. Glad <laughs> you are the leader of this bro down. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, all right, let's end with an excruciating moment from last night's Wheel of Fortune episode. This is what the contestants saw on the board. Watch it. All right, so this is not... Very tricky, right? Seems like a pretty recognizable phrase. Right. Well, let's see how they did. A fall. Okay. Another feather in your hat. This is time dysphoria at its finest. When I was first born and in Lynn's day and age, it was another feather in your cap was a idiom or a saying. But nowadays, they have, they failed the puzzle several times. 6.50. G. No G. Lap. No. D. No. Another feather in your map? C. Oh, you're a C up there anywhere. There you go. You want to solve this? Yeah, I'll solve Another feather in your cap. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wait, you're not surprised, Tony? I'm not surprised. It's, it's, a tw it's 2022. People aren't wearing caps. They're wearing caps. <laughs> Dude. No. I mean, like, it's a public shout-out in New York City public education. The language arts. Idioms. Feather in your cap. Oh, thank you so much. We will be right back. We'll get Except in New York City public schools, we didn't learn idioms like that. They didn't prepare us for life whatsoever. It was really like being held in a room with very little entertainment um, and just passing our lives by our youth. We weren't exercised regularly. Like we had one special event where they came in, which I mentioned um, in, during the Reagan era. But other than that, there was very little necessity in our daily function really horrific i mean i know everybody like i hear people like talking about like how great america was yeah those are the people who are the haves if you speak to the ones that were held captive and have not it's a completely different whatever different set of circumstances now, this is interesting on Drew Barrymore directly after CBS this morning. Um, the most disgusting um, chef concoction, it's macaroni and cheese with apples. Or it's almost like an apple pie in your... Apparently, it's a thing. I don't know whose thing it is. Um, I don't know why they began it. Some local non uh, local discreet 
family thing, I assume, that may have caught on or whatever. I've never heard of it. Um, but um, they, they attribute it to Dolly Pardon. Pardon? It's Pardon? Pardon? Je ne sais pas. But it's happening in the U.S. dollhouse. And she calls herself Dolly Pardon. Um... And then there's, um, and I guess, I don't know, is this mon chien for mon enfant in les états unis Je ne sais pas. And then after that, it goes to uh, Tom, Tom Brady, the football guy. He's got on his thing a C with four stars. I'm like, C4. I'm like, oh, he's dynamite. Hold on. Apparently, in 2017, they paired him up with four old ladies, and they went on the road together. Um, it's something about the 80s. So I'm like, so four 80-year-old women? Took, he took them on the road to go see some Super Bowl thing? See him play Super Bowl? I'm like, what? What is wrong with these? Ha what is wrong with the halves? The best news is, Ross, it's your story. Oh. Meanwhile, while that was going on in Tom's life, in my life, I was still under biological warfare and attack, like severely. Just coming off of 2016, losing the house, losing the kids, being sent back here. But I had gone through a horrific cyber to cyborg genetic attack and now it's just increasingly gotten worse but it's like i wow so the family and the haves are totally ignoring me as usual i mean they know i exist i can see they exist when they make themselves known and they have these ridiculous campaigns that they do in what is your purpose in life? I'm just curious, because I don't really, I don't see it. I mean, four 80-year-old women dragging them to the Super Bowl, really? What message was that sending? Mac and cheese is going to be gone by the end of this story. All right, everyone, less than a month after retiring from the NFL, Tom Brady has announced... See, there's that C4. Dynamite. Oh, look, and there's some pirates... There's the Nike symbol, right? I met in Russian club when I was club baby seal um, in that one school for the great white sharks with really sharp teeth elsewhere um, on like the two days that they actually showed up before they disappeared. Um, they said that Nicole meant victory in Greek. They confirmed that for me for Anastasia purposes. Um, and then they said it's also known on their sheets of paper, they wanted to make me know that Nike also, uh, is the symbol of sorts for victory right here. So I notated it, God's witness and all. his next venture. Is he moving on to another team? What is he doing? No. The Hollywood Reporter says Tom is taking on Hollywood. And when the seven-time Super Bowl champ makes a play, oh, he goes big. He'll be producing and appearing in a football road trip movie he'd helped develop called 80 for Brady. And listen to the cast. He's got Hollywood's biggest icons to star in it. Lily Tomlin, Jane Fonda, Rita Moreno, and Sally Field. That's quite a cast, and they're going to play a group of uh, best friends on a road trip to see the 2017 Super Bowl, uh, which is the one that Tom Brady came back and beat the um, uh, Falcons last minute. Remember that Super Bowl? Uh, and uh, I have to say, getting Sally Field and Tom Brady together, uh, Jane Fonda, uh, this proves that prayer works, okay? Because it's <laughs> everything I've ever wanted. I, you know, someone said upstairs, like, speaking of... This is what they focus their time on. 
their entire careers, Brady included, that he's out there having fun, doing whatever the hell he does in his fame and fortune. I'm in a room. I've been well, expected, I suppose, to carry these children that I didn't want and I didn't agree to. Totally forgotten about and just left and neglected. And then in 2016, I hit the worst bit of being neglected. Like, almost like the toy that everybody loves to beat up on. I start bloating up, and I get a mental, um, almost like a movie picture. It was a whole thing that went on, which I'm not going into because humans aren't worth the details. But it's been, and then they dragged it out for seven years. So now you tell me, why are humans alive? Why are they allowed to exist on this planet? It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. Earth, solar system, Milky Way universe, galaxy is broken. It's March 2nd, 2022, and the attack that some humans somewhere allowed to go through could have been completely avoided not quite sure if it's from the haves or the have-nots or some non-essential equipment in the human category fighting over some futile issue but it's not a, it's not okay it's not acceptable 